Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to do a review about all the Smurfs figures that I have. Uh, before starting with the small plastic figures, I, I want to introduce these cute plushies that I have. This is just one happy Smurf and uh, one happy Smurfette. I really like them. They are really good quality, nice toys. I even have this tag for Smurfette too. I really like how they made her little shoes out of out of um, plush and all the stuff. Her little panties, the little dress she's wearing, and the hair is also quite nicely done. So really good quality figures here. I really like them. There's a Papa Smurf too uh, available in this plush line, but unfortunately I don't have that one. Really nicely done and cute plushy figures here. I definitely recommend you to pick them up. I think if you want plushy smurfs, these ones are the best. I've seen many others and never liked any like this. They are really nice and cute. And now to my collection of small smurf figures. As you can see I have lots of them. When I was small, when I was a child, I was basically obsessed with Smurf. I love them so much. And I had a lot of Smurfs when I was a child. But unfortunately I, mo I lost most of them. So I started to collect them all over again. Uh, and right now I basically have... I think I have all of my childhood Smurf figures or at least most of them and some more. because some new ones came out since then that I really liked and I collected them too. So right now I'm going to uh, introduce these figures to you, um, show you my favorites and just tell a little about them as I, as I show them to you. So let's get started! I think it's only fitting to start with the first one. This is the Smurf, first Smurf I have ever owned. Back then I was, I don't know, around 6 or 7 years old. Uh, the Smurfs cartoon was not showing in my country yet and I didn't even know what this guy was called. I, I called him Little Gnome. Um, and, but still, the first time I laid down, eyes on him, I fell in love with this guy. And this was my first Smurf. This is not the one I had because I, I lost it long ago somewhere, but I still remember it and I still really love him. <coughs> so I bought this version, this newer uh, edition of the same Smurf. And that's when I figured out that this one is quite a rare figure. So. It it was a bit more expensive, <coughs> but I obviously had to get it because this is my first Smurf and still one of my favorites. Along with that first Smurf was, came this one. This Smurfette, <coughs> they are all from the Easter line of, of one of the Smurf collections. <coughs> I really like this Smurfette too. Panty is showing, of course. She has a flower in her hair, like Vanity Smurf does. And she just 
m meets a newly hatched little chick. I really like it. <coughs> so these are these are my first Smurfs ever. Well, as I mentioned, I lost most of my Smurf collection, but this is one Smurf I did not lose, and he was also a big favorite of mine. You can see the paint is uh, chipping off at some places, and uh, yeah, I think I chewed the end of the gun a little bit, and <coughs> there was a bird sitting on the gun too, but I don't have that one anymore, but still this is my cherished little smurf that I uh, I was growing up with and here is the newer version of the same smurf I bought just to have it in my collection in perfect form you can see the bird on the gun and everything so here they are my two little smurfs with the gun also a big favorite of mine. Another Smurf I've, I have grown up with is the Joker Smurf, right here. He's also a big, big favorite. Uh, I was, this was one of my favorites too, because of the stars on the hat. I, I thought back then that this was really a unique thing and not many Smurf figures came with stars on their little hats, so I was really happy to have this one, and I took really good care of him, as you can see, no play wear on him. He's dressed as a clown, holding a little lollipop in his hand, and yeah, with stars on their hat. But then, my world changed as I as I received another figure another smurf which also features stars on the head on the hat it's this one the magician this belonged actually to my sister you can see a lot of play wear on him and that's why I have another version too somewhere here if I can find it oh here he is so here's the perfect version of the of the magician smurf or alchemist smurf in his dark blue robe and little chemistry set in his hand. It's a really nice figure. Cute smile. Another big favorite of mine is clumsy. He just tripped over and he just tripped and fell over with a with a basket of, of smurf berries or something or little apples. And this is also one of my favorite figures to have. You can see on the on the belly there's nothing much, so you have to have him here like this lying on the floor with the berries all over. It's a really nice figure. A really big favorite of mine. Back in the day when I was in elementary school I used to spare my lunch money uh, and around one week of lunch money was enough to for me to buy a Smurf in the local little store next to the shop so about once a week I rushed over to the store and bought a Smurf and I was really I was always really excited to see which Smurfs are still there and uh, which Smurfs are you know already sold out so that was my childhood hobby every Friday after school this Smurf here is also one of my favorites. I never owned this Smurf. My my cousin had this one and I really liked it. I always really liked it but could never find it. Uh, and as it turned out, as I realize now that this Smurf is also a rare Smurf and it also goes for a higher price. It was part of the uh, Thanksgiving set 
that came out that came out in 1984 so it's also a quite hard to find and quite expensive figure but currently I guess this is this is my favorite smurf I love this one he's so unique he's so different than all the others and I really like this corn he has in his hands it's really nicely done really realistic and the, the way he offers it it's like it's like a real Indian I really like it the whole expression on his face he's really cute and of course I have some Papa Smurf as a kid I never actually owned a Papa Smurf figure so right now I have five of them let's start with the chemist Papa Smurf he is doing his usual experiments I guess it's really nice I have this theory and I don't know if I I have never read uh, uh, any of any origin stories from the Smurfs but I think it would be cool to to read or to have an origin smur story when Papa Smurf creates all the all the Smurf with some kind of like cloning or something like that because they are all uh, the same so they must be clones of each other or something like that and wouldn't it be really weird and funny if if that cloning required Papa Smurf to you know show some ritual um, ritual offering or something like that and wouldn't it, wouldn't it be funny to have his his clothes painted red by the blood of the ritual he offers to create all the smurfs I think it would be hilarious I actually to see a gritty and dark origin story for the smurfs and here's Papa in his black tuxedo So once again all the Papa Smurfs that I have. This one is from the Astro Astrology Collection. It's a Libra. The figure for the Libra. And of course I really like the originals such as Brainy. I never really had a decent Brainy figure when I was a kid. This one came out just recently I guess this is a newer figure and it's a really nice little brainy this little smurf is not really doing anything except pointing and laughing but he's so so very cute I love this figure and I usually pretend that he was jokey just because he's laughing at some something or someone here you have greedy sitting and eating and of course vanity vanity was also a big favorite of mine I never really had a decent vanity figure you can see it's the same uh, flower as Smurfat had this is a really nice one I love this figure I love the expression love his little mirror he looks cute and here are some of the more extreme modern day smurfs like inline skating smurfs two different smurfettes inline skating snowboarding two different versions of snowboarding this one came from the McDonald's set uh, at one point McDonald's gave um, smurfs for the with the Happy Meal they all have a big M somewhere on them like this one but they were really nicely done and really cute new figures with new little in new little poses and and new molds I really like the McDonald's figures I don't have all of them but I have most of them I have the skateboard skateboarding smurf look at his, look at his hip little hat turned sideways and 
little t-shirt showing the McDonald's logo. So it's a really cute figure. I love the snowboarding smurf with his with his snowboarding glasses and the whole attire he has. The big smile on his face is really cute. I love the skateboarding smurfette with his with her with her hat on on backwards and the little bandana she has. And the whole pose it's really nice. It's so authentic for skate uh, for inline skating. It's really nicely done. Big favorites of mine. I think the cutest Smurfette I have ever seen is the Schoolgirl Smurfette. Just look at her, she's so cute. With her little pigtails, the little sweater, the little rock she's wearing. She's just really, really cute. This is this is definitely my favorite Smurfette figure. And I really like this Cupid Smurf too. He's really nice. Look, he's not wearing any pants. You can see his little blue ass and the little wings. He's also not wearing any shoes, so he's barefoot. Really cute figure. And just when it comes to weird Smurf, just look at this little girly smurf all naked taking a sponge bath with her pink hat and blonde hair I don't know who she's supposed to be I've seen lots and lots of smurf cartoons but I have never seen her in any of the cartoons but this is and this is not a fake figure this is an authentic Schleich Peo smurf figure and it's just so weird and but I bought it just to have this weird one in my collection too so this is the barking smurf and here are my junk food eating smurfs eating french fries eating hamburgers there's also another version that eat, that's eating uh, McDonald's hamburger uh, the Big Mac uh, but I unfortunately I don't have the Big Mac version but the regular regular hamburger version is also really cute he's about to bite in and also the french fry smurf I love how the the tongue is hanging out you can see it hang out of his mouth he's really cute and here I have some more smurfettes for you the witch smurfette is one of my also one of my favorites just a plain smurfette with a flower basketball playing smurfette from the mcdonald's collection actually there's a basketball playing smurf too from the mcdonald's collection that comes with this smurfette the witch is i think one of the most funniest and most creative Smurfette figures I really like her she stands uh, actually she sits on a broom about to fly really cute I also really like this old skater Smurfette I never had her as a child but I always wanted to have and here I have some Super Smurfs. Super Smurfs are smurf Smurfs that come with some kind of accessory. They usually come in a box and sometimes you have to put parts of it together. And in Super Smurfs there's a weird thing that uh, the whole Smurf is molded out of blue plastic and the hat is colored white which on the normal smurfs you can see that they are molded out of white plastic and the blue parts are colored and painted 
uh, in case of Super Smurfs, the whole plastic is blue and the white parts are painted on. You can see it, it right here. The, the white was painted on and not the blue. This is just something I, I realized. For example, this Smurf, the Boxer Smurf, is also a Super Smurf. Although I don't have the the accessory, he has a little boxing bag uh, here, but I don't have that one. But you can see that that it's also a Super Smurf because the hat is painted on. You can clearly see it on this one too that the white parts are painted on and not the blue parts. He's sweating with a little bench and a little table. <sighs> My big favorite is this lazy smurf here, S sleeping in a hammock. He he's the coolest. I love him. I usually have him somewhere on my desk desktop because he's so cool and so relaxed. I also really like this one. This smurf with the hat made out of leaves. I think he's called the wild smurf or wildling or something like that. I never he really he looks like Tarzan. He only wears this loin cloth and has the hat made out of leaves. I have never really seen any more versions of him. There's one that's hanging on a wire, uh, on a uh, wire or something like that, vine, hanging on a vine, uh, but I don't have that one. I only have this car version and I also have the Smurfet version of the little car. Her car is made out, made out of a mushroom and has some flowers in the back, whereas his car is made out of a leaf and some wood. They are really, both really, really cute and fun to play with. I also have a little smurf house. Uh, you can remove the top, so you can access the inside easily. The door is opening. You can put a little smurf inside. Let me choose one. So you can put a little smurf inside and close it. It's really nicely done. It comes in different colors. Mine is red, but you can also buy it in blue. There's a little there's a little butterfly on the top, little windows, it's really nice. And some other smurf I, smurfs I like, grouchy with the mushroom umbrella, lazy smurf, painter smurf, handy smurf with his tools and gadgets. And you can see that the hat is a little bit different on Handy too, just like in the cartoons. And here's Clockwork, Clockwork Smurf, who was created by Handy and he's a robotic Smurf, according to the cartoons. I never really liked the way the cartoons went in a certain kind of direction with these new characters introduced like the grandpa smurf, the grandma smurf, the smurflings and also clockwork smurf. I m like more the traditional comic book way that was produced by Peyo. Uh, but still this clockwork f smurf figure is really cute <laughs> and I really am really happy to have him in my collection. And he goes so well with with handy together and some more modern smurfs that I have is are the wedding couple of smurfette and the groom smurf I really like how they the hands are designed to fit each other so it's like they are holding hands when you place it, them next to each other 
this knife has a white tuxedo on it's really nice and the smurfette with her wedding dress she also looks really pretty and nice and yeah they're a nice couple when they don't fall over and here are some of the Indian snorts that I have I'm not a big fan of this Indian collection but I still bought them so my dad built me this cool shelf so that I can store my little toys I have always loved little toys ever since I was a kid uh, all the time when they were asking me what do you want for your birthday I just answered uh, little toys so little toys is basically my thing I collect everything that is little and cute and uh, obviously smurfs mostly but other things too so just to finish my smurf collection here I have Gargamel here he is, evil old Gargamel. My dad gave this to me and I remember explaining to me that, you know, it's better to receive Gargamel than to receive a Smurf because you can buy Smurfs everywhere, but Gargamel, that's special. I bet you have never seen him in the stores. And he was right, I have never ever seen a Gargamel figure from Schleich in the stores, but it's from Schleich. Uh, you can see, kind of see it on him, Schleich, Pio. So this is a real Gargamel figure, not some knockoff. Although it's not size accurate, I still like him a lot. One other thing I wanted to show you is, I have telephone smurf here, and I have the telephone smurf that I owned when I was a child. As you can see, he's mutilated. <laughs> I cut off the telephone and because the hand is on the telephone I figured I just cut off the hand. Uh, I know why I did it. Uh, I, I thought the figure with the telephone was way too big. It, it didn't really fit into my pocket and I just wanted the smurf and not the, not the telephone so I cut it off. And just some other smurf that I still have here. Real quickly, this is Baby Smurf with his little teddy bear playing nicely. Here's King Smurf. I actually love the King Smurf comic. It's it's really good. It's my second favorite episode of the comic books. The, my my all-time favorite is the Black Smurfs. If you have never read that comic book, I can recommend you to read it because it's. It's amazingly good. It's like a zombie story with Smurfs. It's really good. And also the King Smurf is a really good story too. Surprisingly good. Even better, way better than the cartoon episodes were. So read the comic book, kids. And don't watch the cartoons. I mean, watch the cartoons, but read the comic books too. So here's Cowboy Smurf. Also a big favorite. I love his hat. His big smile is really cute. His lazy smurf trying to dig something, make some gardening work, but then fell asleep. Here's Captain Papa Smurf. First, I didn't really like, like this figure, but later it became also one of my favorites. I just love Captain Papa Smurf. I, I used to have this figure too when I was small, but this is a new one. As I mentioned, I lost most of my collection. And some more McDonald's promotional Smurfs. They were available with the Happy Meal menus in McDonald's. I don't know when. Definitely before the Smurfs movie came out, because they made a promotion for the Smurfs movie too, but those were the horrible movie Smurfs. By the way, I, I hate the movie Smurfs, and I will never ever buy any movie Smurf. 
I only like the regular cartoon and comic book Smurfs. The movie Smurfs were just creepy. <laughs> I love this one. I love how his tongue is hanging out. It's so cute. Part playing Smurf is also my one of my favorites. Is is really cute. There's Pirate Smurf, there's a rare version of this one with yellow belt, which goes for insane high prices. I don't really care for that. And another Brainy, I like the other one better, but I have this one too. He holds a book in his hand. And I, like, I love this figure. He's smiling on one side and really serious on the other. That's what I like it, like in him, he's like two sides of the same coin, and of course he's going to bash brain his brains in, so yeah, smurf violence. The scuba diving smurf is really funny, look at all the gears and equipment that he has, it's... I, First, I didn't really like the Smurf that do modern things and use modern stuff. For example, this scuba outfit is really modern. But later I started to like some of them, not all of them. For example, I don't like the one that's using a computer or the bodybuilder one. I think those are really creepy and I, I just don't like them. But I like the scuba diving Smurf. I usually keep them somewhere in, in the bathroom. And it always makes my guests laugh. Here's Cancer Smurf. I received this as a gift because I'm Cancer. And I like him. Not my favorite one, but I definitely like him. Uh, maybe I don't... Maybe because he's not my favorite one, that's because I don't believe in astrology. But he's cute. Apple eating Smurf. And the apple is a bit hanging on on this one. It's it's attached to his stomach somehow, but it should be you know like this. But it's a bit hanging. This is actually one of the one of the rare ones that survived my childhood. So this is one of my original childhood Smurfs, Skater. And here's the Carpenter one. It's really nice and big smile on his face. And last but not least, the injured Smurf. Now, I used to have most of these as a child. I lost most of these as a child and now I have my adult collection. Um, I have way more than that. Those were These were just my favorite ones. So, I'm not going to bore you with the rest of them. Uh, I really hope you like this quick review or quick show off of my collection stay tuned and i will upload some more videos in the, some more videos soon bye bye